Good morning. It's very hot in Florida. <laughs> Got my purple Vanda kitten outfit on. Shout out, I need some purple socks <laughs> to go with this. We're gonna talk today about road ID. <laughs> I just noticed Bill's wearing his road ID jersey today. How apropos. Road ID there. All right, road ID. Withings, whitings, wee things. It'd be cool to have a watch band that would fit that. Oh. I'm an ambassador for them. <laughs> you just had on discount. It's assuming you can do your sale. That's always my party. It's a good shirt. It's a great shirt and it matches your whole get up. <laughs> Jesper and I are here <laughs> to talk about mm. let's talk about some needs. Okay, first of all, my Vander Kitten jersey. Nice purple, but I'll tell you what, if anybody out there's got a pair of purple Vander Kitten socks, I really need them because look at what I'm wearing. Yeah, they don't match at all. Here's another thing, road ID. Oh, let me take my shoe off so I can show you. I've been riding with Bill for about five years now, and right away, Bill got me a road ID, and mine lives right there on my shoe, which Mises actually is in a good place for it, because if a car hits me, probably the first thing to fly off my body is gonna be my shoes. However, I don't like a lot of stuff on my wrist. There's my Fitbit, so um, that's where mine lives. Also, it lives there so that I never, ever forget it. I mean, I'm never gonna get on the bike without my cycling shoes. So it's impossible to get on the bike without the red ID. But I think I need to order another one. And I've ordered one of those Withings, Withings, Weathings watches. And maybe I can have a watch band that my road ID is on. I'll check with road ID. I'll leave a link above. I think I've got a discount code for you. The reason that we wear the road ID is it's got all of our information on it. See, nobody can really read it until they need to read it. But it's also registered and people can, if something were to happen to one of us, you can call that number and... It's got all your medical history and everything like that. The other thing Bill wears is he wears an ice dot that goes on the back of his helmet. And if he were to be struck by a car or something, um, it's going to notify me and it's going to notify a couple other people that he's down and where he is. And we can find where he is from his phone and all that. But we ride together, so not as much of a concern anymore. Hi, Jasper. Hey, kitty cat. Um, Next thing I want to talk about is if anybody has got any kind of a post-ride wash, I am in desperate need of one. And this is Pedal Power. This isn't available anymore. You can see the link on Amazon for it, but you can't actually order it. And I talked to the girl who produced this, and she's not producing it anymore. It used to, um, Vanderkit marketed on their website, and this is the only thing that I have found that keeps me from getting saddle sores. And this is two ounce, and I use about the size of an English P every time I ride, and I have no problems if I forget to use it, I have problems the next day. And I need a replacement for this. Now, I've ordered something from Amazon that comes from France, and it's going to be here, and I think today or tomorrow, and I'll let you know how that works. It's going to be a bit of a a risk trying something new and it's crazy expensive but if it works it will be worth it but if anybody knows something like this a post ride wash that actually works and keeps you from getting subtle source I would love to know please let me know the other thing is I was after four years of serious riding I was running low on the shimmy butter and I don't use a whole lot of it but um, I wanted to order more and this is the eight ounce that I got from Amazon and when you go online, here's the amazing thing. This runs about $15. Four times as much runs about $32. But I'm kind of funny about labels and all this kind of stuff, so I'll take the label off of it. I mean, I know what it is, or I'll put a little CB up at the top. But it is a pump dispenser, and I don't want, this isn't the prettiest thing to have out on my dresser. And my eight ounce one, this one just lives in the drawer. So what I'm going to do is, um, and I know from, from talking with Autumn with Stream to See that the reason that a lot of these things aren't refillable is because the manufacturer doesn't have a guarantee that the user is going to properly sanitize a container before they refill it. I trust myself though, so what I'm going to do is when I take this cap off, hang on just a second. 
Okay, so when you take the cap off, when you take the cap off, this cap is like a dispenser cap, but this kind of restricts the flow also. What I can do is I could just gently shave or ream that out and I could boil this whole container. I mean like really boil it like you do with your Diva cup and everything. Just boil the heck out of it. And then I can refill this so that it just stays in my drawer and then leave the big 32 ounce um, in the bathroom cabinet or something like that. That way uh, I still have a smaller one that's portable that I can take with me places and it's not cluttering up my dresser. So that's my plan for this. And I'll leave a link for the 32 ounce. I mean, this is, I wonder if it has an expiration date. Let's look and see. No, I don't see any expiration date. So I don't think this stuff is going to go bad, but this is like, this is like a 20 year supply of this stuff. <laughs> And uh, the lady smells pretty good. I mean, when when after you apply it, you know you could you could rub it on your hands or whatever. It's uh, it's actually it smells pretty good and it's pretty nice. But this is 32 ounces, so this means that I'm not going to be so stingy when I'm using it, and I'll actually use an appropriate amount, which might also help with saddle sores. Oh, what a horrible topic. Anyway, I'm going to leave a link to this below because this is the best deal ever. This is only slightly more than the eight ounce. Um, but anyway, if anybody has a solution to a post-ride wash, I would love to know. And I'm also going to leave you a discount link below for Road ID. I am an ambassador for Road ID. And I have been, like I said, Bill got me mine about five years ago. He's been using it for as long as they've been in existence. And I think I'm going to try and order watch band ones for our new we things why things with things somebody tell me how you pronounce this watch anyway bills has arrived mine's coming uh mine's coming in a couple days and uh i'd like to have my road id on the watch band that way if i'm running or anything i'm doing then the id is going to be with me but and also i want to give you a quick reminder to carry your days are with you i need to take the clip off of this because i put it in my back pocket um here's the thing with dogs and and I've uh, talked back and forth with the manufacturer Dazer, and he is the nicest guy. And he tells me that there is something about bicycles that just turns a dog on, and it gets all their senses going, and they absolutely love chasing bicycles. And we have found this to be true. Hey, kitty cat. Come on. Come on. Come on, kitty. Yes, you can be with me. You don't like dogs either, do you? You love your doggies. You love your doggies. Kitty says... Kiki says, carry your days are with you. Um, and here's another thing I'd like to ask you to do. We have a leash law in our county. <laughs> we have a leash law in our county. And if there's a dog that's chasing you, please call your animal control, document it, take, yes. Take pictures of it, document it. <laughs> kitty, kitty love here. Kitty love. Oh, oh, I smell so bad. I stink, kitty cat. I stink. I stink. Why are you loving me when I stink? Call, call animal control. If there's a dog that is chasing you and you have a leash law in your area, please, please, please call animal control. Because here's the thing. If that bad dog attacks... <laughs> Call animal control, because here's the thing, if that bad dog attacks um, a child or a lot of cat love. So here's the thing, if if your county has a leash law and there's a dog that's chasing you, do everyone a favor, call animal control and report it because if that dog attacks a cat or if that dog gets out and attacks somebody older or attacks a child, you're going to feel pretty bad that you didn't report it. So. Please do report bag dogs. You know, if you're able, take a picture, send it into animal control, prove that they're off their property, prove that they're not under voice control and they're not under leash control. Take take your days with you. You just press the button. This thing does not hurt them. It just, as Bill says, it breaks their oodala, whatever the oodala is. I think it's like their concentration. Their little, there's a mosquito, breaks their concentration and just makes them stop. It's kind of like, shooting a little bit of water at them and whichever one you can grab for first and do that but the deal is 
if there's a bad dog chasing you report it because if it hurts somebody as my father says if it hurts somebody who is less able to protect themselves you're gonna feel pretty bad that you could have done something about it so wear your road ID carry your day sir <laughs> use your chamois butter and please send me a recommendation for a post ride kind of like a female area body wash that reduces inflammation and things of that nature so I've got all the cats here with me here comes Jasper Kitty. Hey, Jasper. That's it for today. Just wanted to share a fantastic deal on chamois butter and a discount code for Road ID. And I am working on some new cycling goals. I am out front this year instead of behind. You actually, oh my gosh, I am learning that you don't get stronger by being behind. You get stronger by being in front. So. That's my goal this year is to be the girl out in front. So see you next week. I'll let you know how my progress is going. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and click the subscribe button below. If you use my links, it doesn't increase your cost. Um, I might get a little tiny reward from the manufacturers who are recommending something to you. And I'm only recommending things to you that I've used for a long time myself. Five years in this case for everything I have everything I have here. So um, thanks so much for watching. And if you like my content, please like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next week.